for those that are not aware of what Black Earth is, what is it? So Black Earth is a Canadian based company. We are head office is right in Calgary and we are a company that produces and manufactures high quality humic products. We're a soil health, a soil amendment product. And so we often talk to our producers about building up their soil health or starting to regenerate that soil structure. Um, a big thing for us is we're, we're sitting in the foothills of Alberta right now and it's definitely seen some dry years. So a big thing for us is holding that moisture. So a humic particle will hold seven times its weight in moisture. So noticeably we can see, I've been with the company for a couple of years now and I've seen out in the field hands on, you can see that line almost where we've used humix and haven't used humix, just holding that moisture, obviously that moisture then turning into helping grow that crop, um, letting it fill if we're in a cereal field like this, letting those heads fill a little longer, you know, if we're in a hay field, hopefully producing a little more yield in those spots. And we actually ship this product that comes right out of Alberta here all around the world. We're a really high quality humic product. And we say that because our humic percentage is around 64% humic, and we've got a low heavy metal content. And we find that this quality is so superior, we actually ship to a lot of countries all over the world that have humic deposits, but those clients are willing to pay that premium price for Black Earth's humic because of the high quality product that we're producing right here in Alberta. Okay, and how do producers get involved with Black Earth if they've, they, they don't know how it might fit into their operation? How can they find out? Yeah, so this has a fit in any operation. I now am not on the farm, but I live in town and it goes across my grass. I use it with like a little hand spreader. Guys are putting it through the drill. We have guys that broadcast it out through a uh, broadcast box. We also have a liquid lineup as well. So we move a lot into the Midwest and the Corn Belt into the States, and that's a lot of liquid kits going down for their corn. So it's adding right into that, that piece of the puzzle. So we tend to have a fairly large lineup of products that can kind of fit any usage. And is there any types of crops you guys are seeing it really work best with, or is it across the board? Across the board, the, for the most part, any crops that are out there, we're using it into forage. Like I said, we move it into turf industry as well. So. Um, lots of golf courses we actually have it using in there and improving those soil structures there for them is huge. We've, we've got a course in Calgary that couldn't grow a lick of grass. It was a pretty ugly looking course and started using humix and helping build that soil structure. So overall, then that allows that plant health to come up. What are producers mostly surprised about when you're first showing them black earth? Um, I think the big thing is just like how much it can do with what we're trying to do. I think the big thing for Black Earth products too is we're a low cost input, but if we can start to bounce that input costs, so our synthetic fertilizers, even herbicides when we talk about our liquid use, we might be able to cut some of those applications and hopefully just produce that healthier crop with actually less inputs, maybe a little bit more right off the start, but eventually we'll start to decrease some of those inputs and tighten up and make a little bit more money at the end of the day for these guys. Now in Ag, we often talk about the future and what we kind of want to leave as our legacy. How does Black Earth fit into that and why do we need to be paying attention to soil health? So I think as, as somebody that's grown up in agriculture and been around agriculture my entire life, we look at that next generation and how are we going to do things for them? So if we start to improve this soil health, lots of these farms have been around hundreds of years and we've started to deplete and continue to do. And so how do we start to add back? And that's where Black Earth comes into play. We wanna talk about the sustainability, you know, that's what Black Earth is and our humic products and the lineup that we have. So if producers are hearing about this for the first time right now, how do they learn more? Um, you can go onto our website, obviously. We can go to Black Earth and look at that. Uh, get in contact with myself if you're here in Canada. We've got other reps that uh, deal with other markets around the world and talking to us or talking to producers that have used it. Because I think that's the biggest thing is getting your hands on it and really trying it in an operation. Um, you know, I've seen guys that have used it and it seems to be, we got to go back and we're going to put it on more acres.